Hi guys, welcome back to Chess the Matthew. So on this video, I will show you on how to win in the Queen's Pawn game in just nine moves. So here I play the move d4, the Queen's Pawn opening, and here my opponent plays the move d5, and here I play the move knight to c3, trying to attack the center with d5, and with an idea a pawn push to d4 to challenge the center and here my opponent plays the move knight to f6 defending both the square a b4 and the b5 pawn but here still it doesn't bother to my idea and i play the third move of e4 so we shall see in this position that it has only one defender versus the two attackers so here the white immediately grab that pawn and win the pawn on e4 but here I try to regain some of my defensive pawn with the move f3 so after takes and queen takes f3 we shall see in this position that after queen takes d4 the black now is a top on up on this position but after bishop to e3 attacking the queen queen to b4 attacking the b2 pawn and castling defending the b2 my opponent here so a tactical attack with the move bishop to g4 so after bishop to g4 my queen now and my rook was under attack by the bishop to g4 so i think here too much time and i saw that i can still play the move knight to b5 trying to give a check and for kiss king and rook and for example after bishop takes here I can also grab that bishop but here after bishop takes f3 and I give a check first but after knight takes a 7 it is already now a checkmate because the knight cannot be captured and the king can no longer escape to the check and he cannot capture the chicken pieces so it is already now a checkmate so going back after for example knight b5 even though here for example my opponent plays a defensive move with knight b to b7 but still there is queen takes b7 trying to attack his rook and for example after rook b8 still there is a checkmate after capture knight takes b8 and the same pattern of checkmating the black king on a8 and here after for example knight b7 queen takes b7 queen e4 trying to defend his rook on a1 but still i can just capture that queen and after knight takes rook d4 so we shall see in this position that now there is two attacks by a knight c7 check and porking the king and rook and an attack on the knight and, and also the bishop indirectly on the bishop so here after for example knight b5 even though he defend in another way with the move knight to a6 but still there is queen takes b7 and after queen e4 trying to defend his rook and also attacking this bishop but after a capture and a capture giving check king b1 and after the move queen to c5 because there is a threat of knight to fork the king and rook and after defending the c7 he can't now the king to b7 attacking his rook and after for example bishop takes d1 queen takes d1 check king d7 a retreat of knight to attack his bishop and for example a retreat of bishop develop a developing move capture g takes f3 g6 trying to regroup his pieces but after bishop to b5 check c6 and rook to d1 we shall see in this position that 
The white now is rapidly developing species while attacking the black skin and after on this position also we shall see that the black now is a problem to solve his development and to regroup his pieces while his king was on the verge of attack of white so just a recap after the move d4 d5 i win here in just nine moves after one two three four five six seven eight nine so i hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe